Welcome to a video tour of 761 at Emporium. This unit is located on the fifth floor of the toaster building if you're familiar with the layout of Emporium. When we come in the door here, we have the kitchen immediately inside the door. So as you can see, we've got a lot of storage. It's a really large kitchen, well laid out. You've got dedicated microwave space on the far left, gas cooking, electric oven, and a dish drawer. Then when I come around and show you, there's more kitchen here serving into the family area and another large pantry. This is what I love about this property. It's a couple of things. This is one of them. It, that you've actually got a dedicated laundry. It's a room with a door. It's not a cupboard. We're trying to shove everything in it. So it's really spacious. If I come in and show you, you've got plenty of space here to put your front loader or your top loader below the dryer, which the dryer is a fixture. And then you've got a bonus two door linen cupboard, which is nice. And as you can see, there is a door. You can shut this mess off. So come back through. We just had this property repainted. So it's nice and fresh and clean and the floors have all been replaced. So if you've got any allergies to carpet or any issues there, then you're just gonna love this property. So don't worry about the tired ones you've probably been looking at. This is where you wanna be. It's a great property. Great owners, so you won't have any trouble when things go wrong. So taking you through onto the left side as we come in the front door, what we've got here is another storage cupboard. Unusual that we've got so much storage. Now come around, you'll see there's a bathroom here on my left. This bathroom just has the shower, toilet and the vanity. It does have a door to it. Now what I'm saying is it's not an ensuite to the room as such, but it's more versatile in the fact that you have two separate bathrooms, genuine bathrooms. So we'll come through into the room, as you see, the same easy care flooring. Moving around, just show you, you've got a double door mirrored robe. I've just got one open so you can see inside. Air conditioning to the bedroom. You've also got a window that you can open to have some ventilation in. And yes, they are block out curtains. I will hope to get those replaced, but that takes a little bit longer. So come back through the hallway into the living area again. Fantastic natural light in here. As you can see, yes, it's air conditioned. I know we all need air conditioning up here in Brisbane. Now, here we are on the other side. So it's in the door to the right, basically exactly the same. Little hallway, which is nice. Then coming around to the right, the difference with this bathroom is it is a bath shower. So the property does have a bath, as you can see and then your vanity with storage, a door again. So this is where I'm saying they're not en suites as such where they're locked away in the room, they are more accessible. Coming into the room, which is an identical size as the other room, two differences, you have sliding doors onto your very large balcony outside, which I will take you through to shortly. Again, air conditioned, double door wardrobe, which is fantastic. Come back through this way. What I'm gonna show you is you see how I'm standing in this, the mirror verse of that hallway. There's pocket doors on them. So as you see, sliding doors, you can pull them across for privacy if you have people over, or perhaps you've gone to bed and your flatmate's still up. You can just close those across and sort of slow the noise down a bit. Now, I'll take you outside show you the location of where we are nice big doors as you can see great size balcony you've also got these couple of roller blinds exterior roller blinds that you can pull up and down depending on light and sun that you want in the property looking across to the central building that is the pool that you do have full use of there's also a gym a spa and a sauna in that building that you're able to use with your swipe. So to give you an understanding of where we are, BWS is basically below us, straight down. So you can see, come around, plenty of room for your fit dining table chairs, 
and as you can see the large space going into the second bedroom there come back through the flooring now see up there on the right that is your bonus bedroom this is technically can be shown as a third bedroom but I want you to understand that that is where the window space is the natural light comes in through there it is directly off the kitchen so I'm coming back to show you exactly how it's laid out so coming into this space it will fit look it's going to fit a double bed it will fit a queen size bed as well has a nice little return um, if you put a queen size bed in here I'm not saying there's gonna be a lot of room around it but a double would sit in here better or else perhaps it's your work from home office your study space and again yes sorry there's me you do have the doubled wardrobes in here double door wardrobes sorry so it's not just a space that has no storage it has storage so looking back up again there is the windows they are fixed glass there is not an air conditioner to this room so the property to recap is two bedrooms, two bathrooms, third bonus room, three air conditioners, and one car space. All of this at a thousand end street in a just renovated property. Love to hear from you to show you through or answer any other questions that you might have.